So now the last chapter in the book, foreign trade policy. Now this is a topic which is more for reading and less for understanding, right? So this is a new foreign trade policy and it will be continuing up to 2020. In total there are eight chapters. So we have given the serial number also. So in total we have eight chapters in this, okay? Now what the foreign trade policy is, this is only the basic. But without the handbook of procedures which are prescribed by DGFT, actually we are not going to understand anything about foreign trade. Only basics we can understand out of this. And this is a mixture of some of the provisions of FEMA, some of the provisions of the Customs Act. Right? So starting with the chapter 1, this talks about legal framework and trade facilitations. Right? Now as far as legal framework is concerned, which are the laws governing import and export? So basically three laws are there. First is customs, number two is FEMA and number three is foreign trade development regulation and for A this stands for Act, foreign trade development regulation Act. So three acts combined together these are related to import and export. As far as customs is concerned, in this we have main authority is RBI. As far as import export is concerned. For other matters, other authorities are also there. Sorry, in customs, this is CBC, I'm sorry. This is CBC. In FEMA, this is RBI. And in Foreign Trade Development Regulation Act, the main authority is DGFT. Director General of Foreign Trade. Okay. Now in Customs, Custom Act we have already done. Imported goods, export goods, prohibited goods, those goods, various types of things we have already discussed. FEMA that comes under corporate law. So under FEMA there is a time limit given within which export proceeds should be realized and every person who is in the business of import and export what are his obligations as far as forex is concerned all that is covered under FEMA. Under Foreign Trade Development Regulation Act foreign trade policy is also given. So foreign trade policy is framed under the provisions of Foreign Trade Development Regulation Act. And this FTP is supported by Handbook of Procedure Part 1 and Handbook of Procedure Part 2. And these handbooks are not a part of your syllabus. Right? So this is combined together, import and export are taken care of, right? Then Ministry of Industry is also involved, Ministry of Commerce is also involved, other ministries are also involved. But the main provisions are under Customs Act, under FEMA and under the Foreign Trade Development Regulation Act. Is it clear? Now, directly coming to Niryat Bandhu scheme, point number 1.07. The name is given Niryat Bandhu, it is not Ayat Bandhu. Ayat is for import, Niryat is for export. So for facilitating the exports and for giving assistance in the procedure of export, DGFT, then handbook of procedure, then customs and all these, the government is going to authorize certain persons to act as Niryat Bandhus. Right, so like as we have accounting technician, the person, those who have passed the IPCC, they are eligible to get the certificate as accounting technician. 
Similarly, this is also something same that these are the people who are going to be authorized to assist in the process of export. What the points are saying? They are saying DGFT is implementing the Niryat Bandhu scheme for, mon for mentoring new and potential exporter on the intricacies of foreign trade ex through counseling, training and outreach programs. So this program will be run by the DGFT and ultimate object is promotion of export. And before we get into this, let us understand one more part. It is one thing is very clear that we need to promote export. But what about imports? Should we reduce the imports? Should we? And if we reduce imports, then just imagine a situation that you don't allow import from one country, that country also doesn't allow your, your exports. Right, that is one case. Number two, all the goods required by all the entire population of India are not available, not produced in India. How to fulfill the requirement? And the, one of the most common thing is petroleum. If you want to reduce the imports, the entire transportation may come to a halt. So we are not there to restrict or to prohibit the import. This policy is simply regulating. Right? And this is for facilitating the systems. Okay?